I'm at St. Joe Catholic High School. I was about to have my McDonald's ceremony, and then we got a game later on. I want to get my jersey retired. It's just a blessing because where I'm coming from, like not too many people make it out. It's just a blessing to make it to the McDonald's game. You've been waiting on this for a while, huh? Yeah, I have. I have since last year. Yeah, Proud to be here with you. It's the whole school, bro. Now therefore, I see Wayne's mayor of the city of Huntington, Kevin and Wayne Counties, do hereby proclaim Friday, February 19th. 2016 to be Miles Bridges Day in the city of Huntington, West Virginia, and encourage all people business to join the city. Now, you don't have to pay parking tickets, you don't have to do anything. It's all yours. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. February 19th, boy. To continue the celebration, make some special messages for Miles. If you'll direct your attention to the screen. Congratulations, Miles, on making a McDonald's All-American team. I remember when you came down here in the eighth grade and you were ducking the gym. I knew you were going to be a superstar. We're so proud of you, Miles. Go, <laughs> <laughs> <No>, Miles. <laughs> that, that's my cousin. He's back from Marshall. Good oh. work, Let's go, Miles. We are excited to present Miles with an honorary named jersey and hat, commemorating his selection to the McDonald's All American Game. I would like to say thank you to everybody that showed up. Um, thanks to my family, my friends. Thanks to everybody in the school for helping me with my um, classwork and basketball, and thanks to McDonald's. Shout out home team hoops. Shout out Ryan. Shout out my dudes back home. Let's go, Jay Girls. Let's go, Jay Girls. Let's go, Jay Girls. You know, a lot has been said about Miles Bridges, the basketball player today, but I've really learned how good of a person Miles is. And he has an infectious personality. Everyone wants to be around him. He'll take time to sign autographs all day, you know, take pictures with kids, and you know, he never turns anybody down. And that's what makes him such a good person. And uh, it's really just been an honor to know him. And I know he's going to be successful at Michigan State and beyond. So uh, this isn't the end of his story. His story is just beginning. So congratulations, Miles. It's the story of Miles Bridges. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Miles. His basketball skills brought lots of smiles. <laughs> well, I, I, I know you've seen that, though. <laughs> Got my own day. It's tough. February 19th. <laughs> they're, they're right there. Squad! Squad! Yeah, well, shout out home team hoops, y'all. HTH, HTH. It's mad, it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Man, that's all right, though. That's all right. I'm trying to get out of here, but it's game day. Uh, it means a lot that I get to play with the top competition, and I was chosen as one of the top players. It's just a blessing. Some of the guys like Jason Tatum that I lost to, Josh Jackson, I plan on trying to beat them. My work ethic and my just me putting in work all the time is gonna get me there. I tried to envision it. That's why I was working so hard. Where I'm from, like not too many people make it out. It's just a great honor to be at McDonald's on that. It's my brother right here. Mm -hmm. You're tall. You're <laughs> the McDonald's game, I'm looking forward to uh, the dunk contest. T Ferg, Malik Monk. Uh, I know I could possibly win, but them dudes, they got bounced. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to get in the three point contest. I can't shoot. Jordan Brand Classic, it should be fun because it's a lot of competition. They all should be fun because we got a crazy class. Everybody's good. Like almost everybody is league ready. So I'm ready for it. Yeah. <laughs>
it was a big transition from Flint because like Flint is like the city life and out here it's like the country. It was, it was a good adjustment for me because I grew as a player and as a person. So it was a good move. Come out, all right, let's establish ourselves early. Um, like I said, let's attack them. Let's get the W. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's get them early. Let's get them early. Team on three, family on six. One, two, three. Team. Four, five, six. Flint water crisis, it motivated me a lot to help my city, help my mom. Uh, my mom, she's been a motivation for me, so when I found out about that, I was hurt. The governor, he didn't even do anything about it, and he acted like it was nothing. And while wow, all them people, they're struggling out there. But I try to do whatever I can, like donate money. I ask Draymond or other people to help me out and stuff, and they do because they love my city. When we heard about the Flint water crisis, you know, I, obviously it wasn't national news for whatever reason for a while, and then we were having our Huntington Invitational and Miles came up with the idea. People could come in with a pack of bottled water and donate it to the Flint Crisis and they had a fundraiser also to uh, raise money for the Flint Crisis and that's one of the things that makes him going back home so special is that he cares so much about Flint you know, because all those kids from Michigan State who were in the NBA, the Flintstones, they all care so much about their hometown and you know, hopefully they've made a, at least some difference. And I know Miles' voice on Twitter has really been a big voice as far as helping out the Flint crisis. The flying to the hoop tournament, it was, it was lit. It was like the second quarter, we had a fast break. My teammate Yvonne passed the ball back to me. And I seen Josh right there. I went up for a dunk, he moved out the way. I 
was like my first bucket set of hole flying to the hoop. Everybody started going crazy. And after that, I just knew it was going to be a good tournament. Josh, we close because we've been playing against each other our whole life and hopefully we can play with each other at uh, Michigan State because we know each other's game and when we played together at Vegas we was killing everybody. He's from Detroit, I'm from Flint, but they're basically the same because it's a struggle out there. Not too many people make it from those cities. Flint, like people don't really get to see 18 like that, Detroit either. I had a game yesterday, and I'm finna work out. Easy money over here. I had to get these shots over my teammate, my coach. Let's go. I try to come in like every three days a week after a game, like when we don't have practice, and it's coming out work out. I've been working on my shot the most. That's really what I'm working on. But with my coaches around, I work on my ball handling too. The school they show me love because they give me the key to the gym, and. I mean, they love me, so I got love for them. It's just a blessing to have my own gym to myself. Uh, open gym, so I like to see. Arvin. What's up, bro? I'm just working out. I'm in the weight room every day. Just get my body ready, get my mind right, because I really want to make it to the league, so. Yeah, I'm just getting ready for college right now. I was actually uh, sleeping at the time. He texted me. You know, I was surprised anybody actually wanted to work out today. It's just a testament to how hard he works and how good he wants to be. And that's the thing with him. He has unlimited potential. You know, the, the, you know they always say, you know, this kid's got this ceiling. This kid's, he doesn't have a ceiling. He can be as good as he wants to be. You know, he comes in on days off, works out. Uh, you know, he's always trying to get up more shots and, you know, ask how he can get better. You know, a lot of kids who are that age don't want to be coached. He wants to be coached. He wants to get better, and that's why he's, he's going to be such a good fit for uh, Coach Izzo up at Michigan State. And, you know, Coach Izzo is obviously going to do a great job with him, too, and it's going to help him get to the NBA for sure. All right, alternate. I just love Michigan State my whole life. It's 45 minutes away, and I knew we were going to have a good recruiting class, and I knew we would be able to play together. So I just thought, why not and come back? To Michigan and I've been going from Michigan for like three years now and once I went on my visit I realized that I missed it so much and coach is a, he's, a, he's a great coach watching Denzel play all the time Brent Forbes all them guys I'm just watching what they do just so I could come in and do what they did he's a great kid that was one thing uh, whenever I came over five months ago you know you never know how a kid's gonna be you know especially with somebody who's ranked as high as miles you kind of think they're gonna probably be big-headed but you know he's so humble and you know, just him being such a great kid and such a hard worker and he's a leader and he's got an infectious personality that kids want to be around. He's a natural leader and he's been great for us. Pound the crossover. Come on, come on, come on. Work, work. There you go. My favorite moment of the year was at the Chick-fil-A uh, final and we had just come off two overtime games and uh, we're playing Oak Hill, and they have about 10 guys going Division One. and Miles just went off, and 
he, he, uh, he yelled, you can't guard me, to uh, one of their players, I can't remember who, it was going to a uh, big time SEC school. And it was a good moment because he was, you know, he got us all fired up and got the team going and it, it really helped us stay in that game. He's had games this year where he just put us on his back and, you know, whether we won or lost, we were in the game because of him. Eight. Nine. Ten. Game speed, game speed, game speed. Not getting any better if you don't go game speed. Four. It's work, it's work. Get that sweat dripping. Six. Game speed every time. Seven, go. Eight. Finish it, one, two, right in a row. Nine. Finish it right there. Hell nah. <laughs> Puts more stress on your legs. Get ready to shoot it. Game speed every time. Three. Four, four, here we go. Five. Program that's been around since about 2009. We're nationally known. You know, we bring in kids every year that are top ranked in their class. And you know, we try to mesh them together and into a team. And it's a tough thing to do, bringing kids from all tip, different type of backgrounds and meshing them to, as a team. Because you know, a lot of teams have been playing for so long together or they get them as ninth graders and you know, they, they come up together, so it's tough to like put a team together like that. It's almost like an NBA team where you have to quickly gel a team. You know, that's the difficulty as a program like this. But when you're getting high level kids, it's a lot easier, obviously. That's kind of like where we are. We, we, they go, the kids go to Huntington St. Joe Catholic School, which is a great school here in Huntington, West Virginia. They have great host parents who take care of them. They, you know, they become part of their families really because they get them Christmas presents, you know, they, you know, they help them out, you know, they, they feed them every day and, you know, they're always worried about what they're doing and they become a big influence on their lives and that's one of the things that makes our program special is the host parents that, you know, are part of the program and they're a part of their lives and every day. You know, we have a great head coach, uh, Arkel Bruce, who, you know, he's known everywhere in the nation now, but he's been a West Virginia legend for a long time and, coached O.J. Mayo and Patrick Patterson back in the day at Huntington High, and then he helped start the program with uh, Coach Rob Fulford. You know, he's done a great job here, continuing the tradition that they started together, and that's hopefully what we're going to do in the future, is, and then we're going to start hopefully winning some national championships. LeBron at the LeBron Skills Academy. Yeah, talk about playing against LeBron. What was that like? I, it, was just, it was just unreal. Like, uh, I grew up watching him, and then for me to be playing against him, guarding him, it's crazy. Like he didn't score on me, but I had a good time. All the top guys that's in college right now. Um, other people like Paul George, Dwayne Wade, DeMarcus Cousins. They're all there just playing with us. I mean, they're all cool guys, and they like the competition too. So wherever they're playing, they're gonna play their best. So it's a good experience. Power dribble, power dribble, power dribble. There you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, going to the defender, yep. Get him off you, get him off you. Power dribble, get him off you. For the win, maybe. Let's go, game time. Hey. He's just so explosive. Uh, somebody who you can't almost believe that it's 6'7", 230, or whatever he's weighing now. Uh, that at 17 years old, he would be that explosive. Then you mix in that he can handle the ball so well and he shoots the ball so well and it just it's a deadly combination. There's nobody in high school who can guard him straight up.